Our next recipient is nationally recognized as an export, expert on workforce development, contextualized learning, and career technical education. Carol Goldsmith's family moved from the Bay Area to the Valley where she graduated from high school in Visalia. While at Fresno State, Carol served as an upward bound advisor and as a summer camp volunteer for disabled children. She worked numerous jobs from pizza maker to plumber and graduated in 1991 with a history degree. She then earned a master's in educational administration from National University and a doctorate of education from the joint doctorate program offered by Fresno State and UC Davis. Carol's teaching career began in Carruthers and has risen to leadership roles through the educational system. Since 2002, she's worked for the West Hills Community College District and was recently named the first female president of West Hills College Kalinga in its 82-year history. Under her watch, there has been a significant increase in grant funding for the West Hills District, including nearly $20 million from the U.S. Department of Labor. In 2008, she was honored with the Laniello Lifetime Achievement Award by the Association of Community and Continuing Education. Carol was elected by her peers to serve as Regional Vice President of California Community College Association of Occupational Education. Carol says her proudest achievements are her children, Chad and Chelsea. On behalf of the Division of Graduate Studies, it's my pleasure to present the 2013 Outstanding Alumna Award to Dr. Carol Goldsmith, escorted by Interim Dean Sandra Witte. Well, good evening, everyone. How are you doing? You having fun? Good. Well, thank you for this wonderful honor. This has been truly a humbling and quite an honor that has really shaken me to my core. And I never thought when I first stepped on Fresno State's uh, campus that I would be honored in this manner. And I have to tell you, I'm so thankful. First of I feel like a rapper right now, like I just got an Emmy Award. I wanna thank God for passing algebra because it, I really had to take algebra several times. I'll get back to that. Um, but no, I'm very seriously, um, I'm very thankful for the people in my life, my family, my mom and dad, Doyle and Faye Goldsmith, who are at that table over there. Give them a round of applause. I'm an only child. I'm a first-generation college student with a learning disability to be able to get a doctorate degree. And um, yeah, yeah, give that up. That's because people, when we thank God, God puts people in your life. And not only am I, was I born to wonderful parents, but I had so many wonderful teachers and so many wonderful people who cared about my learning disability. So for the students that are sitting at that Paramount table, the Paramount scholars, let me hear you. And any other student out there, you can have a learning disability and you can get a doctorate degree too. And you can be president of a college or president of a university or a CEO because things do come true if you're relentless. And Jim Costa, you believed in me, and you were one of my mentors, so thank you for being here tonight. I appreciate it. I've been blessed, and I've had a wonderful life, and I've had so many mentors in my life. Not only did I have Sharon and John Brown Welty be in part of my life and help me, encourage me to be the person I am now and finish my doctorate degree, but I had also had the current president, Dr. Joseph Castro, was one of my professors. How cool is that? Thank you, Joseph. Thank you. Thank you for teaching me what it meant to be a leader. You gave me the education about what it meant to be a leader. And I want to thank Dr. Frank Gornick, who's back over there. Thank you for showing me what it means to be a leader. You've been a wonderful mentor, and I owe a lot to you, sir. Thank you very much. Let's give a round of applause to that man. So I kind of started about thanking God about taking algebra because I had to take it more than once. Actually, if repeatability laws would have been in place, I probably would not be here today because I had to take algebra several times. So thank you, God. Um, and having a learning disability and knowing that you can be relentless and just keep going and don't stop and believe in what you need to do and let those people in your life allow you to help you, that's an important message for the students that are out there now. There are barriers and there are challenges that you face in your life, but there have been people that have been placed in your life, whether they be teachers or whether they be family 
or whether it be mentors, people at your workplace, allow them to help you because it really does make a difference. You can make a difference. And you can overcome any barrier, whether it's academic or if it's social. You can achieve your dreams. I'm here to tell you, it does happen. Be relentless. Don't give up. Be a bulldog. Be a bulldog. Be a Fresno State bulldog, right? All right. So again, I want to thank, again, I want to go back to my mom and dad because they have been so helpful in my life. Not only they've, they've stood by me in the dark and in the light, and they taught me about work ethic. They taught me about hard work. They taught me about being honest. They taught me about making good on your word and never giving up. So for those of you who are searching for a goal, whether you're a student or somebody who's thinking about a goal, don't give up. Keep going. Go after that goal, because you can do it. You really can do it. And I'd like to thank also the Fresno State Foundation, the Alumni Association. I am so honored and deeply humbled by this event tonight and by this award. You don't even know how much this means to me. And on a personal note, I'd like to thank Mr. Peter Robertson, who is an Alumni Association Director. Let's give it up to Peter, absolutely. I have had the privilege to say Peter Robertson is my neighbor and my dear friend, and I so enjoy you. And you're just as dear to Fresno State, and we owe a lot to you, and I owe a lot to you. So I'm gonna say this to you, Peter. Peter, I am Fresno State. Go Bulldogs. Thank you very much, everyone. Have a great night. Thank you.